DMS. It's Jade. And Delaney. Back with the DMS broadcast. Hey DMS. So today all the people have nonstop been talking about the special holiday coming up. What was it again? Come on Delaney, how did you forget? It's Easter, duh. Oh right. Speaking of Easter, we have lots of fun segments today highlighting this special day. That's right. Who's up first? Um, I think Deacon's doing some egg decorating too. Probably better than mine. Let's go check that out. Hey DMS, it's Deacon. And it's almost Easter, so to celebrate, I am going to be making Easter eggs. What you need is food coloring cups, a pot, eggs, and some water. Alright, so then you want to fill up a pot with warm water and add four eggs to it. Then you want to get the pot on the stove and set it to high and wait for 15 minutes. Then you want to get your four cups and fill it with water and add food coloring. Next, you want to uh, put the eggs in the water and set it there for 10 to 15 minutes. Then you want to take them out and put it on something solid. Hope you learned about my tips and tricks on how to make Easter eggs. Anyways, bye DMS. Hey Jade, did you see Jonah's drawing? Yes, I did. It was really good. I want to learn how to do that. Well, his segment is about doing it, so I guess you'll learn. Yep. Hello DMS, it is I, Jonah. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw some eggs. Let's go! Another drawing. We do? Who is it? Peyton, come on, we've been over this. My bad. Hey DMS, Peyton here. And I thought it'd be a good idea to do a drawing challenge. So we have nine people that are gonna do a baby owner challenge within five minutes. And let's see how they did. Let's head on to it. Our winner was Delaney of the Best Baby Yoda uh, Drawing Contest, so let's draw it on back to the anchors. Okay, next, we have another DIY. It's a bat. A bat? Yep. Okay, well, let's go see what she makes. Hey DMS, today I'll be making a paper bat for National Bat Day. <laughs> There you go, DMS, flying it back to the anchors. Wow, it turned out great. I'll definitely try that out too. Oh yeah, me too. So who's up now? The Easter Bunny, duh. The Easter Bunny? You've got to be kidding me. Nope, definitely not. I know, it sounds crazy, but it's true. Oh, well, let's go see what the Easter Bunny is up to. Hey DMS, it's Charlotte, the Easter Bunny. Why don't we go say hi to some friends around DMS? <laughs> See, I told you it was the Easter Bunny. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's move on. I heard someone is making some yummy pancakes. Yeah, Julian is. And guess what? Are they Easter themed? How'd you know? Let's go see what Julian is up to. Hey DMS, do you ever want to make pancakes for Easter? I know I have. Let's go make some.
Wow, these pancakes looks amazing. Now let's go hop to Anchor. Wow, those really made my tummy rumble. Yeah, me too. Let's go to the next topic so I can stop thinking about food. Sounds good. Let's go to Dylan for the Easter egg race he's cooking up. Jade! Sorry. Hey DMS, I'm Dylan and Easter is coming up. I have a fun activity for some kids here at DMS. We're going to do an egg and spoon race. If you drop your egg, you lose. Let's... Was so good. Well, let's race back to the anchors. <laughs> that was fun to watch. Yeah, totally. Man, my hair keeps getting in my eyes. I don't know what to do. Well, your luck. Riley's making some Easter headbands. Really? Yes. Oh. Well, let's learn how to do it then. Yeah. Hey, DMS. It's Rylan back with the DMS broadcast. Today, we're going to make an Easter headband for Easter. The supplies you will need are pipe cleaners, two eggs, a headband, and some hot glue. First, you're gonna to wanna to twist the pipe cleaners around each other and then put them in the egg by looping them around the holes. Then you glue them to the headband and make sure you glue inside of them so they stay secure. Also make sure you cut them to, to your desired length. This part is optional, but if you, if you want to, you can put some green around the edge. That had been really had me jumping for joy. Now, let's hop it back to the anchors. Now I'm getting really tired of saying Easter so much. Well, you're in luck. This is the last Easter theme segment. Yay, what is it? Zarya's doing an Easter egg hunt. An Easter egg hunt? Ooh, that sounds really fun. Yep, let's go see who wins. Hey DMS, so Easter is this weekend and one thing I love to do is an Easter egg hunt. So I hid some eggs outside and my phone that we're broadcasting class is gonna go find them. Whoa, that was so much fun. I hope you guys have fun with your family this weekend. I'm Zaria. Time to find our way back to the anchors. Hey, Jay, what's your favorite Reese Witherspoon movie? Lily Blonde, of course. Yeah, that's a great one. And guess what? What? This year, the musical is Legally Blonde. Let's go to Sarah and get the details from her. Yes. Hey, DMS, did you see the musical this past weekend? Well, I think that Zaria has some more information about it. What was your part in the musical? So I was in the ensemble, played the saleswoman and the understudy for the cashier. What was your favorite part and why? My favorite part of the musical was being able to hang out with my friends. Did you guys sell out of tickets? As of right now, one of our shows is sold out and our other two shows are almost sold out. That was super interesting to see the point of view from the people in the musical. Now back to the anchors. I can't wait! I love the music in it! <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you remember what Anson's segment was about again? I don't know. Something about speech and debate or whatever. Are you sure it wasn't the P by S rap? Yes! I am! Okay, okay. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Hello, DMS. It's Anson, and I'm here to talk about... Speech and debate! Hello, my name is David Dempsey, and I am the speech and debate teacher here at Discovery Middle School as well as Liberty High School. How many years have you taught speech and debate? This is my third year of teaching. I previously had three or four years of assistant coaching experience while I was in college, and that's uh, what led me into teaching. What's your favorite assignment of the year? So speech and debate is awesome because we get to express a ton of different topics, but what I love the most is the dad joke quiz that we do because we do a lot of dad jokes. 
Wow, guys, that looked so fun. Didn't it, Brett? Yes, it did. Now let's sing it back to the anchor. Delaney, remember when we played soccer together? <laughs> yeah, I do. Speaking of that, you still play, right? Yeah, of course I do. I'm going to play in high school, too. Really? Well, Rowan's been asking some questions about it. Maybe you could help her. Yeah, I totally would. Where is she anyway? Rowan? Rowan? <sighs> I heard the high school soccer team has started. I know Jade plays soccer, so let's go ask her some questions about it. How long have you been playing soccer? I've been playing soccer since I was four, so about 10 years. What is your position? I play the six, which is a defensive mid. Are you excited for high school season? I am very excited for high school soccer. Thanks for telling us about your soccer experience, Jade. This is Rowan sending it back to the anchors. Hey Jade, you take Spanish, right? Si, sí, K. Okay. <laughs> I just heard a lot of people talking about finals. They're really scared. Oh yeah, I'm scared too. I don't even know what it's about yet. Well, Brett's asking some people some questions about it. Really? Well, what are we waiting for? Vamanos! I love you, Max. It's Brett, and today I'm going to be interviewing Spanish students on what they think about the upcoming Spanish final. Did you know about the Spanish final? Yeah, I did know about the test. This is like the first year that it's happening. What do you think about the Spanish final? Um, what I think about the test is going to be easy for me. But like, I don't know how other people will take the test. And lastly, do you think you'll be ready for the Spanish final? Yeah, I know I'm ready for it. Well, Dimas, I hope you learn more about what people think about the Spanish final. Back to the anchors. Speaking of movies, I just watched the Titanic last night. And it was so good. I love that movie. And also, Chansey is doing the history of the Titanic segment. We'll have Leonardo DiCaprio in it. What do you think? Well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Hey, DMS. Have you heard? This Friday is Titanic Remembrance Day, the day that we remember what exactly happened on the night the Titanic sank. Let's interview Miss Bartolotta and get some more facts on the Titanic. What year did the Titanic sink? The Titanic sank uh, in the very early hours of the morning on April 15th, 1912. What is your favorite thing to teach related to the Titanic or about the Titanic? So the Titanic is not a part of the curriculum in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade at DMS, but Mrs. Ferdeen in the library was nice enough to pull together some books if you're interested in learning more about the Titanic. So there is um, Titanic's Passengers and Crew, Digging Up the Past, the Titanic, and Iceberg Right Ahead, the Tragedy of the Titanic. So she said that these are all really great books if you're interested in learning more about that subject. Now you know a little bit more about the Titanic and why we should remember and carry on the story of what exactly happened that night in 1912. Let's sail it back to the anchors. Thanks for watching this DMS broadcast. I hope you all stay responsible, respectful, and, and cause kindness. kindness.